Do you know that what I found in those emails should make your hair stand up? Do you know that they took statements from my, the founding of my Paul Revere Society, such as a nation is defined by its borders, language, and culture, and they use that as evidence of why I should be banned from Britain? I'm not making this up. I swear to you. I swear to you. They said that because Michael Savage believes a nation is defined by its borders, its language, and its culture, he has engaged in hateful speech. He has engaged in unacceptable behavior. Because he believes in borders, language, and culture, he has provoked and incited violence. Do you have any idea what this means? It means that the liberals have become the most extreme form of, of thought police. It means that the liberals have declared conservatives criminal. It means that the liberals in England have criminalized conservative thought and conservative speech, which is why every liberal who really believes in the liberal uh, credo should buy my book, Banned in Britain. You need it as a document. You need to see the proof. You need to see I'm not hyping you. And you need to share it with your liberal friends. It may finally awaken you from your slumber before it is too late. It just might save America from the fate that Britain is suffering under these, pri these public school snots. I want you to go to michaelsavage.com and read the new legal letter that was sent by my attorneys, the defamation claim to Jackie Smith. And then I want you to look at the Secret emails, well, I can't give them to you now, but I want you to see the cover copy, the table of contents, and the excerpt for Banned in Britain. And once you look at these documents and put them together, and then you combine them with the fact that the very same Labour government that did this to me, and remember what they did to me, you say, oh, big deal, you can't go to Britain. You didn't want to go anyway. Well, you have to see the larger point. That defies, excuse me, that denies me my freedom of movement, which is a, de a denial of my fundamental civil rights. It denies me a freedom of movement. Do you understand that? It's a denial of the European Commission on Human Rights laws. It's a denial of the U.S. Bill of Rights. It's a denial of British law itself. It's a denial of everything that is decent about democracies. It is something you would see out of North Korea. Didn't North Korea just arrest two people for entering its soil that they didn't approve of politically? Weren't two journalists just released from North Korea by Bill Clinton because they dared wander into that sacred nation without permission? This is something for you to behold. The very same government of the United States of America under Hillary Clinton and Obama, Barack Obama that wants to continue the open border policy started by Bill Clinton and magnified and amplified by George Bush, the open borders with Mexico, where drug dealers can walk right across the border, says nothing about a legitimate American broadcaster with millions of followers being unable to go across the borders of Britain. Don't you see what's at stake here? Don't you understand what's at stake here? I am one man fighting an entire government. Don't you understand what's at stake? I hope you do. And I hope you understand this is not hype, nor do I care about selling a certain number of books because it will fatten my wallet. I hope you understand that I'm well past that point in my life. And I hope you understand that there's a greater principle in these shows about being banned in Britain and this one man's fight to free his name from this list of murderers and terrorists. I hope you understand. I'll be right back. Let's go to the next caller. Wisconsin, Kathy, welcome to the program. Thank you, Dr. Savage, and God bless you for your courageous, true speech. I pray for you every night, Dr. Savage. This whole thing reminds me of Free Barabbas. They're letting this lunatic, this terrorist, off out of mercy. And they can't show mercy to someone with a courageous voice like you. God bless you, Dr. Savage. God bless you. Thank you, Kathy. God bless you for the call. Thank you. Kansas City, Jeff, welcome to the program. Go ahead, please. Yes, Dr. Savage, you are unmasking a big brother. You threaten the elites both here and abroad, and they know it. Okay, and they fear the, the anger of the masses that is stirring beneath this facade of tranquility that the media presents. Mm. They fear it. They understand it's real, and they should. 
because they have Well, it's interesting that you should say that. In other words, one could say it's a great honor to have been put on such a list because I've gotten to them and they're terrified of the truth and they're terrified of the reality awakening the, the drunken soccer thugs in England from their stupor. Uh, where they might take the country back. I understand all of that, Jeff. Meanwhile, the fact is is that I'm twisting in the wind, and there is great danger in being on such a lift, list, Jeff. There, there's no honor in being on this list. There's only danger, Jeff. And I don't have to spell out why there is danger in being on such a list, do I? Absolutely not. But you're competing up against a bunch of self-serving egomaniacs like Sean Hannity, the leprechaun Bill O'Reilly, or they, they trumpet these values, they don't stick up for you, which is pure cowardice, because it, anyone with a half of a mind knows it could be them next. Okay? Well, then, I, I wouldn't save all my wrath for them. I, I just consider them to be entertainers who uh, don't want to rise to the occasion. I mean, frankly, if you want to talk about them one more time, I will. The, the greatest thing they could do for their own um, reputation would be to say, you know, even though Savage has said things about me that are horrible, and I really despise what he's called me. He called me wall banger. He called me leprechaun. He called me golfer. I don't like it. It got very personal. I think he was petty and childish. He shouldn't have done it. And I resent it. But there's a bigger principle here. And for that reason, I'm going to have Michael Savage on the Bill O'Reilly show, meaning O'Reilly could say that. Or Hannity could get off his stupidity and say, even though he said these things about me, I'm going to show him a bigger man. But they're not bigger men, Jeff. That's the point. They are cowards. They're not bigger men. This is a golden opportunity for them to show that they're bigger men, but they won't and can't do it. And they rule Fox News like a lockdown. The painted girls are afraid to touch me. You know, in the beginning, the painted girls were on my side because they understand what's at stake here. But the painted ladies of Fox News have been warned, probably by the shillelagh holder, uh, not to talk about Michael Savage. Well, that's their loss, and I don't care about him anymore. I don't need them. I need you. I need you. Because one day, the truth will come out. One day, I'm telling you as I stand here, I will get... Look, my next goal is, is I'm trying to get this book to press, Banned in Britain. And we're in the last phases, copy editing before the printer, etc. You're buying the book in droves. It's doing well, so don't think I'm doing it for the buck. Okay, it's not. It's just more taxes and more money to give away. I'm doing it to get the message out. I want a document of what was done to an innocent man, so it's not done again. Thank now you understand why when a man speaks about borders, language, and culture, he becomes an enemy of the New World Order? Yes, they're going to trade Okay, in. well now you understand what my book is about. Banned in Britain is not just about this case with England. It's about the fact that they picked on me because I am trying to save the sovereignty of America, the sovereignty of England, the sovereignty of France, the sovereignty of Germany, the sovereignty of Norway, the sovereignty of Spain. Every Western nation right now has been overrun by international interests. We do not know who actually pulls the strings. And I'm trying to awaken the nationalist spirits in all of these nations. Do you understand that? Yes, but I'd like to add one little thing, Dr. Savage, if I may, please. Why not avenge yourself? Think, think why, not, why not harness the energy that you, that you possess, like no other in this country, and you take your listeners and yourself and put us into the White House the next time around. Think of, uh, you think England's going to say, oh, we can't let the President of the United States into the country? I mean, it would be, you know... This, well, this wait, what, what do you I'm mean, saying. put us into the White House? I missed that, Jesse. What do you mean? Vent. Wait, wait, what do you mean, put us into the White House? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean... The conservative, uh, the conservative uh, uh, movement. All right. Well, okay. Good. That's a great question. Name one. Name who? One conservative? Dr. Yeah. Tell me which conservative you want in the White House. Who? Did you, who? Cindy McCain? No, yourself. No, I'm not a politician. I am absolutely not a politician. In fact, I'm going to repeat what I said Friday. When my name is off this list, when I've gotten the justice I deserve. I will soon thereafter leave radio. This is the last straw for me. I don't want to pay this price anymore. I have paid too much for this career. That's all I'm going to, I'm going to say it again. I paid too much for it. I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm not going to be the sacrificial lamb for the tens of millions of Americans who were doing nothing for me. I'm not going to be the sacrificial lamb for uh, the uh, talk show hosts who do nothing for me. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to leave it all. I don't want to be around this anymore. I don't want to take it anymore. Moreover, I'll tell you something else. You think there's no danger in being uh, the nail that sticks out of the board? You think that there's no danger in fighting the British government? You think they're so benign? You, f you really believe they're malarkey, that they're so nice? 
You think that there's no danger in standing up to them and saying that there's collusion between them and the U.S. government? Well, let me remind you of something. Um, I have very little to do with anybody right now. I'm almost never out of my houses. I rarely leave my houses. And when I do, I'm very guarded. I rarely go to see any of my friends. I cannot speak with them about anything because I'm only interested in getting my uh, name and reputation back. I do not have time to talk about the weather. I do not have time to talk about uh, meals right now. So it's taken a a very dramatic toll on uh, this one American. And it's one man alone. And the only thing I have is you. Do you understand that?